Who? Or where do you see Latrell going? Or are you just saying I don't know. I just think Latrell's somewhere going somewhere. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. He's, he's going to go somewhere down the line. I didn't know if you meant this year. Nah. So I, I well, Latrell the Tech makes a lot of sense mm -hmm. to start with. Um, he's a guy with a, obviously a Big 12 background, played at Oklahoma, um, from Texas, can recruit the hell out of the state of Texas. And when he's done at North Texas, I think people forget how terrible they were. Yeah. <laughs> like that program was awful. Mm -hmm. um, couldn't win, couldn't win forever and ever and ever. And then they bring in Seth Luttrell, this guy that nobody's even thinking about. But once you meet him, like, it makes sense. Because he is, first of all, he's badass. Like, he'll make you question your own manhood immediately. You're just like, oh, my God, I, I need to deepen my voice and yeah. be bigger, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to blow your chest up a little bit so you can talk to him. He's, he's that type of guy where he walks, in, he walks into a room and he demands attention right away which I'm sure bodes well for recruiting um, because he's also a guy that when you talk to him he comes across as very sincere very earnest in what he's trying to communicate to you so I feel like he, he I, I'm sure he does well with the families and players but he's also so well connected and well respected by Texas high school football coaches that he's won some players from North Texas away from programs that he would not have thought that they would win players away from right and then the last thing that I'll say is his player development has been next level and part of that goes to Graham Harrell with the way he's developed a lot of their offensive talent. But just in general, across the board on both sides of the ball, the way that, that Latrell's entire staff has developed the players at UNT has been really impressive. In fact, I, don't, I should have wrote this down. I read something the other day. It was like the only three programs in the country um, to have trailed by seven points or fewer. In other words, they've never trailed by more than seven mm -hmm. all year. It was like Alabama... Uh, I want to say it was Notre Dame. That might not be right. Alabama, somebody else, uh, maybe Clemson, and North Texas. And it was it was crazy. Yeah. And then they have lost three times, but they're they're always in it. They could very mm -hmm. easily be twelve and zero. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we thought so. they were going to be. We had big plans. I did. I had big plans for them. I still think, in the event, and I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I I think Tech and Latrell makes a lot of sense. But if it's not Tech, I don't necessarily know where where else it would be. I thought Carolina might entertain the thought of him and they went to Mac super quick so I, I guess we'll have to see what else opens but if nothing else opens that makes sense and Tech goes a different direction Latrell goes back to North Texas for one more year he's got Mason Fine back for his senior year that's I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't know what their over under win total is but I'll, I'll take the over because that's yeah. a team that's set up for, for success